Welcome back to the Stephen I Show. If you're watching us on our YouTube channel, the Stephen I Show, definitely continue. Or if you'd rather watch, listen to us on our um, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts, definitely do so. Uh, one we'll remind you all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, our official website, the Stephen I Show.com. Now, I keep saying this because it's such a dope thing that we have going on. Our 10-year anniversary special is on our YouTube channel, and I've been seeing a lot of love on there, so definitely continue to do that. This is Black History Month. We got to shout it out. Um, tonight, our, the person that we're, we're um, you know, paying tribute to, let me get to it, is, here we go. Okay, he is a, mount, a mountain man, a fur trader, explorer. His name is James Brockworth. He was one of the only handful of uh, frontier men that emerged from the uh, system of American slavery during its height. In 1970, 1970 sorry, 1798, excuse me, uh, he was uh, born as a black uh, father and was uh, endured slaverman. Learn more about him. Go to our go to our Instagram, the Stephen I Show dot com, and I mean Stephen I Show, and learn more about him. All right, today is President's Day. Shout out to our President Joe Biden. You know, we we have our fingers crossed that you know he's going to bring our country into a better place. Now, our question of the day is: What is your favorite genre of movie? And Chike, because you are a movie review expert, what is your favorite genre? Oh, wow. Um, for a long time, it was horror. Um, yeah. But I'm really learning to get into this, uh, this drama stuff. It's, 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 uh, it can be so altering. Yeah. Okay. Linnea? Uh, because I am an actress, of course, I, I, always, right. de I always defer to drama because I love drama, but I'm an action chick. Like, I love... And, and and I just like kick ass and you know like getting it in and I like a lot of blood and gore so you know forward to <laughs> yeah you know I thought I thought about you because Queen Latifah has that new series out now on Fox Equalizer Equalizer she was talking about how she loves that action takes her back to the set it off days mm -hmm. have you seen it um, I haven't watched it yet I'm gonna wait I like to binge watch shows once right. they're once they're done, because then I can enjoy it after everybody else has talked about it. Yeah, I feel um, So I'm waiting. I definitely shouted her out um, the yeah. first night it came on on Super Bowl night. Um, and like a couple of, of, of people that I know have already said, like, yo, like, this kind of reminds me of your movie Providence. Like, yo, I, I, like, yo, you like, you should really like, you know, say something to her about it once mm -hmm. your movie is done. I'm like, all right, we'll see. But this this her turn, you know, queen shining right now. So I'm, yeah. like, I'm gonna fall back, I'm gonna fall back. <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. Now, yeah, what about you? Well, first and foremost, we got to give some give a shout out to Lania with the the roses all up in the picture. You know, oh, what I mean? yeah. in the videos, she's got a lot of love on V Day, huh? <laughs> yeah. I hope y'all had a good, good. I hope had a good, good. day as well. Yeah, but uh, man, I'm I'm constantly looking for thrillers. I think yeah. thrillers are just the funniest genre of movie. Some of them are good. But some of them are just so funny to me, man. They're just silly, but I enjoy it. So I guess thrillers uh, and comedy all in one. But I, I'm actively looking on Netflix for, for the latest thriller uh, and on uh, whatever platform it has movies. I'm constantly looking for thrillers. <laughs> yeah. I love a good horror movie, but I don't like the corny ones. You know, where you know you're about to get killed. Right. I like the one <laughs> that you don't know what's about to happen. I love right. that. But Twitter's at home wants to know, what is your favorite genre of movie? All right, so hot topics. Saturday, the Senate voted to acquit Donald Trump of his second impeachment trial. Now, this comes a month and a week after the deadly insurrection uh, on January 6th. Now, Donald Trump, he spoke out after he was acquitted. He said, this has been yet another phase of the greatest witch hunt in the history of our country. No president has ever gone through anything like this. And it continues because of our opposite, our opponent, excuse me, um, um, cannot forget the almost 75 million people, the highest, of course, the highest number ever uh, for a sitting president who voted again uh, just a few months, months ago. He said, our historic, patriotic, and beautiful movement to make America great again 
um, has only just begun and months ahead and I have much to share. So he's pretty much he's saying that he has a lot to come down the pipeline. And, you know, a lot of um, Republicans, whether they were outspoken or not, they're saying that they're kind of scared because he still has this power. He still has his power over the Republican Party. But, you know, they needed, uh, was it 17 people to vote against it? And only seven did. Linnea, what are your thoughts on the Republican Party and why they refuse, why they continue to give this man this power? Um, one, I'm not surprised. Two, yeah. I'm not surprised. Three, I'm not surprised. Right. Um, spineless is not even the appropriate word that I want to use right now, but I'm going to use it. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, and I think someone said it before, maybe he said it, where it doesn't matter what he does, um, nothing's going to happen to him. And that is the ultimate privilege that he has. Yeah. And nothing has happened to him, even, even with, I, I think did a few that weren't in favor of it crossed over this time, I'm not sure. Um, but it's just, it's not mind blowing um, because those who didn't, um, their allegiances to that man, not the country, not its citizens, yeah. not the people who voted for them, that's who their allegiance is to and it's just ridiculous. I agree. And Chike, what do you think their end game is? I mean, you had a moment where you could, because <laughs> uh, apparently behind the scenes, a lot of the Republicans are not down for Donald Trump. They think he is he is detrimental to their party, um, but they they understand that he has a huge following. So what do you think their end game is and continue to give them this power? Supremacy. The end game is supremacy. The end game is owning everything, controlling everything. Um, we talk movies here a lot. Yeah. There is a movie that came out when I was young. It's called The Omen. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs to watch that. No, seriously, I'm not joking. Everyone needs to watch that. And the omen turns into Damien. Mm. Watch that movie. Watch it. Mm. That's what Naya, we're dealing with. Yeah. Naya, what are your thoughts? Do you think, because, you know, I, I think most people agree that we should have two parties, two strong parties, Democratic, Republican, to balance each other out. But it just seems like right now the Republican Party is in just such disarray. Um, and I think that this vote showed that. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not surprised either. Uh, yeah, those votes, you know, he, he's too tied in. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of uh, leverage. We mm -hmm. don't see it. We don't know it, but he's got a lot of leverage. I mean, they've convicted people with lesser crimes. Yeah. With, lesser, with, 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 with lesser evidence, you know? Mm -hmm. There's a man who just got out of jail for how many years is that old? That man was in jail since he was 15 years old yeah. for not even committing a murder, but just being there, you know? Uh, people have spent more time in jail for less. Uh, so it just it's just a, a pure example of America uh, and America at its highest game of wealth and politics and a blend of, you know, some other things, I'm sure, but it's nothing surprising you know he's he's yeah. he's got leverage until it runs out and when it runs out then they will get rid of him however they need to get rid of him if it doesn't you know he'll be fine he'll get old and he'll die of of you know old age or something else you know it's nothing surprising this is america and you know what's crazy is that ted cruz you know he's riding for trump trump bashed his wife says she's ugly um lindsey graham before all this he was talking he was down in trump but now I think it went from um, it's, 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 it's party over people, you know what I mean? And it's sad to see because I don't believe these people believe what they believe. I think they're doing it all for, for their jobs. Um, and it's sad, it's very sad, very sad. I think Chige hit it on the head. I think Chige said it, somebody said uh, supremacy. I think yeah. that's just what it is. You know, it's just, it's just perpetual and it doesn't change till we change to the people who are really opposed outside of the those political seats until they change it, you know? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, all right. Tessica Brown. <laughs> She's the one who, the girl who 
a woman. <laughs> um, as you notice, she put girl girl in her, in her hair and um, her hair was stuck for months. And, okay, <laughs> her hair was stuck for months. And so anyway, so she had a surgery recently in Los Angeles. Uh, a doctor, doctor, um, anyway, he, he said he would do the surgery for free. And it was only like $1,250,000. Um, she had raised over $21,000, but he said he would do it for free. And really it wasn't a major surgery. They did a little anesthesia and um, it was like chemicals he put in to reverse uh, what was going on with her hair. Well, she's, you know, um, making money off of it by having t-shirts and hoodies, sweatpants um, to capitalize on what she's done. Now, people are buying this stuff, but I will say that the $21,000 that she raised on her GoFundMe page, she has given that to charity for people who have, um, it's the Restore Foundation. Um, it's a nonprofit organization that provides reconstructive surgery for people around the world. I really like that fact because a lot of people thought this was a big scam all of it together. What do you think about this woman? Um, she's 40 years old, five kids. What do you think about her whole situation? Naya. She's 40 years old, five kids? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Um, you know, I actually took a good look at her and I said, she's a pretty decent looking woman yeah. to me, you know, uh, without all that extra crazy stuff, you know, them crazy right. lashes and that crazy... <laughs> You know, when I saw her with that natural hair, she looked, she, she's a pretty decent, she probably could actually do something with this popularity. Um, what do I think of it? You know what the first thing I thought to be quite honest, when I saw that she had put Gorilla Glue in her hair, I thought she mistake had gotten that mistaken with Gorilla Snot, which I've actually used mm. myself. I've mm. used Gorilla Snot. I used to wear my mustache curled up at the ends. Yeah. Gorilla Snot oh, yeah. holds that thing so tight. And I used to wear this, uh, you know, that old pompadour style. I had that too, and I used Gorilla Snot. So I'm thinking, yeah. I was thinking immediately that someone said, girl, you need Gorilla Snot. That stuff will hold you forever, right? And somehow she probably was in a store that, I don't know where she got that from because I don't know her story, but I hope it wasn't a hardware store. I'm thinking it was in a store that carried that with other things. And she yeah. probably said, oh, this is what they say, I need Gorilla Glue. And, it's, and that's how it ended up in her hair. That's what I think, and that's what I thought. But I don't know because I never heard her story. As far as yeah. her capitalizing off of this whole situation, okay, cool. I, I don't see a problem with that. Um, if people are looking for the money, she do what she wants. She's an adult. I do think it's cool what you just introduced me to about her uh, giving whatever money she was raised to publicly to. Yeah, but her business, if she's creating business, people buying in, she's a grown woman. She can do what she wants. I don't have a problem with that. And her story's been all over every platform, you know, um, every talk show. GK, what do you think about all this? I'm happy that she is giving her money to a charitable organization. I, I'm still back at the point where you decided to put Gorilla Glue in your hair. It's just, I don't know. I can't get past that part. I don't know the story like Nair said, but there's just innate things that you just know not to do. I would never spray Raid in my eye. I would never drink bleach like some people have already. I right. wouldn't put Gorilla Glue in my hair. Like, I'm sorry. I just can't get past that point. I'm just glad the story's over. She had to say. Is it though? She's <laughs> going to be a success. Is it though? And then you she know, already got other people doing things. The man with the gorilla glue on his oh lips. Oh my like, goodness. Did you see lost, that? Lost yeah. a part of his lip. Lost a part of his lip. What's going on? Yeah. Where are the people going? Where's well, everybody? Apparently, apparently Mama June's um, publicist hired her. And so it may not be in the story. Linnea, what do you think? Um. Lord forgive me. Stupidity at its best. Um, of course, I've gotten bits and pieces of what exactly happened, but me being a woman and me frequenting uh, hair stores, there is nothing in a hair store that says Gorilla Glue. <laughs> that can is not sold in a hair store. That can which says it's an adhesive and it tells you what it's an adhesive for is sold in a hardware store, point blank, period. Right. right. Um, and I, <laughs> I had this conversation. The fact that there was a GoFundMe, the mm -hmm. 
The fact that she raised this much money that people contributed to stupidity bothers me. That's the same way that you have the same people that voted for that man that was in office before. Stupidity right. and lack of common sense. And the fact that when I found out that she was 40 and I heard that she was a teacher, if you a teacher and you doing that, I don't want you teaching my child. Yeah. And that, that's just too much for me. And like Nair just said, the whole thing with the lip, there was a girl who decided to wax herself with Gorilla Glue tape and, yep. and messed her stuff all up. Yep. Stupidity should yep. not be rewarded. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, it was, it was reported that she had a lawyer. She lawyered up and she was going to sue Gorilla Glue. But apparently that was a, she never had that intention. So hopefully it was just her being dazed and crazy. And um, I'm glad she gave that money to a, a charity, but Girl Glue is not meant for. I use Girl Glue all the time. I use for. I had a spatula. The top would fall off. Put it in there. No issues. My thing is, it's not meant for your hair. It's not meant for your. Where skin. where where is she where is she from? New York. Um, where no she way. From? She's from New York. No New York. way. Yep. <sighs> Wow. And he I'll decided to take now, something now, now, now let me say, now, let me say get something. on the construction worker's belt and put uh -huh. in her hair. Now, right? let me say, let me, now let me say something. Now she's from New York. They do have hardware stores in New York, but they also have stores that sell all that stuff together. I really yeah. feel like she could have made a mistake, but I don't know because I didn't hear nothing from her mouth. Like, has she told her story of why yes. she told that? She's going yes. on, from what, what she I say? heard, she, from what I heard, she got it from Home Depot. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yes. I uh, see. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, yeah. well, yeah. well. That's, yeah. that's, 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 we got that's, to do better. We got to do better. She didn't get it from a hair store. No, yeah, no, no. no I wasn't assuming a hair store, but yeah. I was, I was thinking maybe she got it from like, uh, like a, uh, what are these stores that just like a general store and yeah. maybe she was Kind of like, well, I mean, but, I, but, know, but, I know, I know, they just have a lot of things. They do. Damn. That's what I'm saying. So I was thinking maybe she mixed it up. But damn. But yeah, she, 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 and then the other thing was. When you were saying, I was thinking, well, well, we we wear mane and we put mane and tail in our hair, and that's made for horses. So I'm thinking maybe she thought she could get away with this. Maybe she thought maybe someone told her, "Girl, I use Gorilla Glue," or you know, and she thought maybe her hair would be able to wash it out. Maybe I don't know. I really don't know. But, but I am glad. Well, when I said this, I'm very glad. Oh boy, did not capitalize off of this. Uh, him put on his lip. He, he can't. Like, oh, he can't didn't. at that point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can't. Yeah. After yeah. seeing what happened yeah. with her. Yeah. <laughs> We'll take a, quick break. <laughs> take a quick break. We'll come back with more hot topics after this. Oh.